How to set up Angular and Tailwind CSS. Links to the resources will be available below in the description. Let's get started. In VS Code, go ahead and open the folder where you want to create this project. Then let's create a new terminal here and I'll go ahead and open a command prompt and close out of the PowerShell. First, we need to make sure that we have Node installed. So I'll go ahead and run the command node-v. And since I have a version showing up, that means I have it installed. But if you don't have a version installed, go ahead and use the link down below in the description to install Node.js onto your system. Along with Node.js, it's also going to install npm. But just to make sure, I'm also going to run the command npm dash v to make sure I have a version displaying. After that, we need to run the command npm install dash g at angular slash cli. So what this is going to do is it's going to install the angular cli globally onto your system. If you don't want to install it globally, just leave out this dash g right here. But in my case, I've already installed the CLI, so I'll just go ahead and remove this. But obviously, if it's your first time, go ahead and run that statement. After that, I'm going to run ng version to make sure that the Angular CLI is installed. And you guys will know that it's installed successfully because it'll show Angular CLI in big letters, and then it will show us the version below. After that, let's navigate to the browser and search for Tailwind CSS. It's going to be this first one here. This will also be available in the description. Let's go to Docs, navigate to Framework Guides, and click on Angular. So here it's going to give us the command to create a new Angular application. I'm just going to copy the first portion where it says ng new, go back into VS Code, paste this in, and I'm going to call mine today angular-app. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And then it's going to ask us a couple questions here. We're going to say no to zone list. I'm going to select CSS and no to server side rendering. After that, it's going to start the installation of Angular. Once it's done installing, you guys will see the statement packages installed successfully. We'll see the name of our new directory. And inside of this, will be all of the structure of our new Angular application. If you want to learn about exactly what is going on here, check out the link up top and down below in the description where I explain everything you guys need to know. Now we want to go ahead and make sure that we CD into our new directory. So I'll say CD Angular dash app. And then back in our web browser, we need to go ahead and copy this installation statement for Tailwind. Go back over here, paste this in, and hit enter. And if you guys get the warning for force here, don't worry about it. It's not going to cause any problems. Now you can see that Tailwind CSS was installed successfully. And just to double check that, we're going to go into the package.json. And we know that it installed because we can see Tailwind CSS slash post CSS and Tailwind CSS. You guys can see that we're using version 4 today. Next, we can go back to the setup process here, and we need to create a .postcssrc.json file. So I'll copy that, go back over here, right-click our new directory, create a new file, and paste that in like so. And then all I need to do is just go ahead and copy this code right here and then just paste it into our new file. Then we can move on to the next step. All we need to do is copy this import statement, go back into VS Code, go into the SRC folder, into the styles.css, and go ahead and paste it in like so. Now back in the setup over here, you guys will see all we need to do now is run ng serve. So we'll go back over here, and what we'll do is go ahead and run and g serve like so and sometimes this takes a second to boot up the locally hosted server so just be patient with it now you guys can see it gives us the local host url i'll go ahead and control click on that to open it up 
go into the browser and you guys can see that our default Angular code is displaying, meaning that we did successfully set up our Angular application. What I wanna do next is go back to VS Code, open the app, go into the app.html, and I just wanna select all of this default code that we just saw in our browser and delete it. And I also deleted the router outlet, so I need to go into the app.ts, delete the import for router outlet, and delete router outlet right here as well to make sure we get rid of all of those errors. Now you guys can see it's working correctly. And if we go into our browser, it is blank. Next, we can navigate back to Tailwind CSS. And down here at the bottom, we'll go ahead and copy this line of test code. And back in VS Code, we'll go back to the app.html, paste that in right here. And then we'll go ahead and view this in the browser. And now you guys can see that the Tailwind styles are successfully being applied. Next, what we need to do is go back to Visual Studio Code and we want to set up the Tailwind CSS IntelliSense extension. So we're going to navigate to extensions here. I'm going to go ahead and search for Tailwind CSS and it's going to be this first one here by Tailwind Labs. Make sure you install and enable this extension and I'm going to close out of the terminal just to get this out of our way for now. Now I want to show you guys the installation process below. So you guys are going to see that for version 4 and later, a CSS file that imports a Tailwind CSS style sheet is required for this extension to work. But if you're using version 3 and earlier, you need to create a tailwind.config.whatever file. So since we already imported this right here into our styles.css, we're ready to go since we're using version four. But we also need to verify one more thing to ensure the Tailwind CSS extension works. So in the bottom left, let's navigate to settings. And what we need to do is search for the settings.json, click on this one here, and what I want to do is make sure that tailwind CSS dot suggestions is set to true. If this is set to false, your tailwind IntelliSense extension will not work successfully. So make sure this is true. Now we can go back to our app.html and make sure this works. So to do that, we can go back here inside of the class and we can just go ahead and try out something like background dash blue. And now you guys can see it shows us all of the shades of blue directly from Tailwind CSS without us having to go back and forth between the documentation and VS Code here. And you can also type in things like flex and you guys will see that it shows up right here from Tailwind CSS. And if we hover over this, it will also show us the exact CSS style that is being applied. And obviously for Flex, it's not really that useful, but when you're using more specific Tailwind CSS classes, it really helps out a lot. So let me change this back to background amber. We'll do 300 and we can view this inside of our browser now. You guys can see the Tailwind style is successfully being applied. That's going to be it for today. That was how to set up Angular and Tailwind CSS. If you want to watch the full video where I create an entire web application with both Angular and Tailwind, check out the link up top or at the end of the video. I'll also put it down below in the description. Again, links to the resources in today's video will be available below in the description. If you run into any problems, or have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me below in the comments section of this video. Thanks for watching.